And this is the scene here in Zinsheim in the hilly Kreichgau region. We're at the Pre-Zero Arena. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Hoffenheim up against Real Betis. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Well, here's the Betis starting 11. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Victor Ruiz plays alongside Bartra in central defence. Canales plays with Joaquin on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. And this confrontation is underway. Andrei Kramaric. Bebu with it. But Andrei Kramaric has had an excellent career for himself and still going strong. What do you expect we'll see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. And space for the cross. Andre Kramaric. Jakob Brun Larsen with it. Chance here, Kramaric. There it is, the opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Rodriguez Nabil Fekir now with Iglesias well it's one pass after another it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well no question about it he deserved his book in there
Rodriguez. Excellent challenge. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Joaquin. Alex Moreno. And the keeper has possession of it. Bebu. Grilic now. Brun Larsen. Oh, he's through here. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Nabil Fekir. And it's with Rodriguez. In possession, Fekir. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And intercepted it. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? Kramaric. Chance here, Kramaric. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Second goal for them here. Hector Bellerin. And it's with Rodriguez. Patient build-up at the moment. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Rodriguez. Joaquin. On to Iglesias. But attacking possibilities. Joaquin. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Fekir. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Fekia. Now Canales. Can he take the chance? That is that for the first half here. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Borja Iglesias. And you can sense the threat is there. Alex Moreno. 
Of possibilities inside the box. Rodriguez. Borja Iglesias. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Fekir. Not to be. And still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Joaquin, and he's broken free, in it goes, to reduce the deficit, still very much alive and kicking. Well here we can see it again, look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper, there's no stopping that, what a great finish. So there we have it, 2-1. Lorian Kredic. Febu with it. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Now he's got to stay calm. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Alex Moreno. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. A chance to eat into their lead. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Into the final 20 minutes. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Nabil Fekir. Hector Bellerin. Joaquin. And it's with Rodriguez. Well, not the pass he had in mind. An attack full of promise. Brun Larsson. Crossing possibilities. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And breaking at pace with Menace. 
Alex Moreno. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. But now we find out it was offside. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Diadi Samaseku. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Not the pass he had in mind. Andres Guardado. On to Ruiz. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, we have to say an eye-catching performance from Andre Kramaric. Sum it up for us. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.